Thank you, new subscribers. You get a JB subscriber ovation. Hey guys, wanted to give a quick shout out to my cousin and his YouTube channel, The Outdoors with Sundown. He does a lot of uh, outdoor stuff, including gardening. Thought you guys might want to check it out. Hey guys, what's up? It's my latest video, and we're looking at the Pepperdew Pepper. Got a few of them on this plant here in this whiskey barrel. Obviously, it's a plastic whiskey barrel, but it's meant to look like a whiskey barrel. As you can see, I got a few of them on here. I believe these will turn red. You can see they're all in different stages of growth. I got some baby ones. Got some that are just starting to form. Take that old flower off of there. There's a little baby pepper dew. There's another one right there. So just a quick look, a uh, quick update. This one's in my front yard. It's doing pretty good. There's a, probably the most mature one that I have on the plant right now. I'm interested to see how uh, spicy these guys are. I hope that they got some crunch to it. Here's the uh, other plant that's uh, growing next to it. It's not nearly as big, uh, but it is uh, also growing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of rotate it so this one gets a little bit more sun. As you can see, one's significantly bigger than the other one. But they're doing good. Now let's just take a quick stroll down here. Here's my Pekin plant that I had from last year. It actually died back to nothing, just dead branches. I cut it back after that hard freeze we had here in Texas. And look at that. Lots of good new growth. Lots of bikinis on there, and even a few that are already starting to ripen, and that one's past ripe. Let's see if there's a one worth picking and eating. Nope. <laughs> Too far gone. And I don't know about you guys, but if you have mocking birds in your area, they love these peppers. A lot of people call them bird peppers, actually, because mockingbirds will come in and eat every one of your ripe peppers, which is no good for you, but it's really good for the plant because when it passes through the mockingbird system, it actually helps scarify that seed coating, and when the bird passes it through its system, a new Pekin plant can grow. So it's actually nature's way of reproducing itself and making sure that the Pekin lives on by making it an edible pepper for the birds. So just a quick look, this thing's got quite a few peppers on here and when they start to ripen up, I'm gonna have quite a few peppers for picking. Thanks for watching guys, y'all be safe. If you like my content, please think about subscribing. I really appreciate it.